Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, a childhood favorite, Sesame Street has found a unique way to address a very difficult topic, the opioid crisis. Yeah, a cute little Muppet on Sesame Street, FISA, is dealing with a big old adult problem of families struggling with substance abuse. They introduced a bright green Muppet on Sesame Street. Her name is Carly, and she's talking to her friends about how her mom is struggling with addiction. Take a look. Thanks, Chris, for watching me and Elmo while my mom's at her meeting. She goes every day so that she stays healthy. Hey, try to catch me, try to catch me. Thanks, Chris, for watching me and Elmo. Oh, Elmo likes singing circle time in school. Oh, does Carly's mommy sing songs in a circle? Uh, no. Well, Carly came to Sesame no, Street in May to stay with a foster family because her mother was supposedly having a hard time. Uh, creators um, added this character to the show, they said, FISA, because they point out 5.7 million children under the age of 11 in the United States are dealing with a parent who is struggling with substance abuse. And of course, that's a problem here in Canada, too. And I say, good. You should. Mm -hmm. I don't you think we should tackle these subjects head on? And they've been doing that on Sesame Street. They have an HIV a positive uh, character. They dealt with 9-11 head on when it happened. Don't you think that's a good thing? I think it's a great thing. And, you know, I've never actually watched a Sesame Street episode so, I know. grew up on the Sesame Street. Come on, it's fantastic. You got to get into it. You don't have to be a kid to enjoy, <laughs> enjoy no. Sesame Street. You know what? That's I... what I'm going to do tonight. Straight, <laughs> straight to Sesame Street. <laughs> nice, wholesome evening for FISA. As always, right? <laughs> uh, so speaking of kids TV, one U.S. newscast featured an impromptu child appearance yesterday. We know. Working moms, they are never off the clock, FISA. So uh, Courtney Cube is the reporter's name. She covers very serious stuff, national security for the Pentagon. She was live on MSNBC right throughout the United States talking about Turkish airstrikes on northern Syria when this happened. Safe zone along the border. Their concern is that they want. Um, their concern is that they want to have a, a Kurdish. Excuse me, my my kids are here. Call a safe zone along the border. She um, she later explained she was called into work to cover breaking news at the last minute. Didn't have time to bring her son anywhere, so the son had to come to work. She actually re recovered quite nicely, uh, regained her train of uh, of thought, and you know uh, this is what working moms have to do. You know, so what, right, FISA? Mom, Bring the kids mom, to work mom, 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 mom. <laughs> hey, I'd do it. <laughs> Kid couldn't care less about uh, Syria airstrikes. You know, it needed his, he needed his mom. I mean, I was paying attention to him the whole time. So. It's very cute. She noticed him in the monitor. You could see her sort of freeze and be like, uh oh, this is happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last but not least, the American Heart Association may have stumbled upon a, one of the secrets of living longer. You want to live longer? Get a puppy. You can live 24% longer because of a dog. According to new research in the journal Circulation, it found owning a dog was associated with a 24% decreased risk of dying by any cause, but a 64% reduced risk of dying from a heart attack. It's because they say, you know, when you have a dog, you're increasing your physical activity. You're walking, you're swimming with them. Uh, it lowers your blood pressure, improves your cholesterol. It's not cheap. They say the average dog costs about 153 bucks a month or above 1800 bucks a year. But it might be worth it, FISA, if he can add or she can add a few years to your life. All I know is when a dog visits the newsroom, everyone is excited. The stress melts away. We got to pet the cute little doggy. So makes sense. Thanks for joining us, Richard. I'm going to go off and watch me some Sesame Street tonight. Right on. See you, Pfizer.